Yo, let's talk about how I made $10,000 in pure profit selling straight on Craigslist. Welcome to the Roughnecks. I'm Rico, your e-com instructor. I'm a software engineer, a military veteran, and a six-figure e-com seller. I've helped over 400 students on Amazon alone, and thousands more make money online. If you need to know anything about making money, you're going to find it out right here. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Roughneck Actual, a.k.a. Rico. And you are here on the Roughnecks Ecom channel where we talk all about how to make money online. Doesn't matter what it is. If you guys have seen me around, I was on, well, still am on the Two Dudes YouTube channel. Uh, but over here, we get to talk about whatever we want, however we want to do it. White hat, black hat, doesn't matter. This is all about making money and how you guys can better your lives and do the same things that I've gone out and done. So today we're going to talk about how I made $10,000 on Craigslist. Straight profit, straight up profit. Okay, there's no gimmicks, no games, none of that stuff. And I'm going to show you why this was so lucrative. How I was able to beat out my competitors without having to do anything other than what I was already doing. You guys stick around because this is gonna be good. All right. So for you guys who don't want to stick around and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to make ten thousand dollars. That's okay because my video guy is gonna drop a secret code somewhere in this video. All right. Somewhere in here there will be a secret code. All right. And whoever enters that code first inside the comment section will get a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. All right. So stick around, guys. Now let's talk about. Let's talk about how I was able to do $10,000 selling on Craigslist. All right, there's gonna be a tutorial. I'm gonna show you exactly how in the Roughnecks computer, but first we need to break this down, all right? One, I identified my target market, okay? I identified my target market, knew what they needed, and was able to jump in and cater directly to them at a fraction of the price of other people, okay? Which leads into point number two. Number one, number one was finding the market, all right? Number two is identifying their price point and the pain of said price points of other competitors okay you have to identify the perfect price point okay because if you come in and you're competing with some other person at their price point and you can't prove that you're better what are you doing it for all right you need to come in and build that up right you need to come in build it up don't just go for the kill shot day one build it up compete all it's going to do is cost you a little bit of your time that's it a little bit of time guys all right you find your your target market and then you compete on price okay very simple very simple you remember those two things you're going to make a ton of money just like i'm going to show you how i did all right let's go into the rough decks computer let's break this down see you right there so guys a few years ago um i guess i should give you a little context on how this all worked out uh you know the shop was just we were bogged down with a ridiculous amount of work right we had way 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 too much work um you know we just couldn't get you know any cars in to get tuned like it just had our hands full and so i'm like at this point like we couldn't take any more you know those cars in so i'm like oh you know i'll make a little money on the side you know we the shop's coming along everyone's happy money's coming in you know let's let's not even worry about it so i posted up something on craigslist you know just for myself using open uh, open source software right and um you know ecu flash and uh rom raider for you guys that are in the know in the car community uh you know so typically you know i charge you know right off the bat three hundred bucks just to hook up to your uh you know to your car okay so with this since i wasn't doing it as part of the shop i was doing it as an individual uh you know i wasn't really charging people you know that much you know i'm like hey look you know 350 i can get a basic tune done for you you know some go fast stuff uh you'll be safe you make plenty of power you'll be good to go for like big things you start getting the e85 and big turbos and all that stuff you know i'll come out to you but i'm gonna need to drive the car for a little while to get your fuel trims just right and so on and so forth now granted people are like oh yeah you know but you're only gonna do like one or two cars and no the guys like this happens all the time people want to go fast i knew that because you know obviously have a shop people are willing to spend whatever and you know the season comes around where people are you know looking to get out there in the streets or go to the track and start you know making some jam you know they want to go fast man summer you know hits up well spring is really when it starts you know spring is, is when it rolls around and people really want to start going faster and they want to you know make that power all that power so hey who better to do it than someone who's you know familiar with the platform and knows exactly what they're doing so you know 350 bucks people were getting done but you guys have to realize there is a whole lot more to it 350 bucks is actually extremely cheap for getting a tune so i was able to undercut the market provide better value and service and then you know still kill it you know so you guys have to think about that for a second you know if you guys can provide value you can make tons and tons of money tons of money i, I did over 10k with just this you know a little 350 dollar tune like granted i had to do a whole lot of them but guys like it it really didn't matter because it's all profit like 
if you're doing photography or making cakes or whatever it is, you know, it's just really taking your time. You know, if you're willing to exchange a little bit of your time, then go right ahead. This is one of my my listings right here that was actually removed. Um, yeah, I was you know, knocking people out of the out of the market at this point. But I'll show you why it's so lucrative, why 350 bucks was killing everyone else. You know, people are coming here, you know, get in tune. And, you know, I, I love Mike, by the way. So don't don't take this as no disrespect or anything. I love Mike Body. He's cool as all get out. One of the coolest guys I've ever met, actually. Um, you know, but hey, you know, 600 bucks, 1100 bucks, you know, 1200 bucks, 1600 bucks. Like, and granted, this is what it should be, okay? Uh, you know, 1600 bucks is, is right around the going rate if you want to do a flex fuel setup and, and all that. Like, it, I'd, I wouldn't do a flex fuel setup for like less than this because it takes so much time. You know, there's so much time and effort put into it. You want to make sure you get it just right. Like, it, yeah, 1600 bucks, guys. But think about that. You know, 1600 bucks. Why do you think I'm in the automotive industry? I mean, not just because I absolutely love cars, but guys, like we could charge an absorbent amount of money for, you know, certain things and people will pay it like clockwork, you know, and this real, this is all just your time guys. So imagine you're charging a thousand dollars a tune, you know, for like flex fuel setup. You get good with a thousand dollars. People will pay a thousand dollars for their cars. No problem. No questions asked. Same thing with import DPS. I love these guys. They're a big Honda shop out in Philly. You know, I, these guys, they have a real fast hatch. Last I heard, it, you know, they had a couple issues with it, but bro, like they, they do some of the fastest Hondas in the area. Literally they do like a good chunk of the fast Hondas in the area. And, you know, it's 500 bucks, guys, 550 for a, you know, for a dy uh, dyno tune, you know, for a turbo tune. You know, Hondas, you know, the S3000, like, you know, back in the day, it was super advanced, but compared to other ECUs on the market, not really, you know, it's it's not all that, it's not all that great, you know, the parameters are still decent, but, you know, compared to what you have now, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty much set and forget, you know, most people, uh, you know, don't even use all the, you know, use the full ability because Hondas are just so cheap and easy you know so you 550 bucks boom you're in and out because they're they're just that easy you know but then you have GTRs like just a basic stage two tune you know this is on Ecutech engine and transmission remapping guys like here we go you know 900 bucks 900 dollars you know for a, a stage two and you know they these are pretty much you know at this point you know GTRs are, have been figured out you know right here figured out and boom Shabam, 900 bucks. It takes you nothing but your time. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna break the bank. You can pretty much get in, get out, make your money. Why in the world are you not trying to sell your service on Craigslist or on your own website or through Instagram or Facebook? It's one of the easiest ways to build out capital. Literally, like if you are struggling and you need to make money very quickly and you don't want to follow one of the tenants that, you know, I, I preached in the webinar and, and in the ebook and that's flipping free stuff on Craigslist, then selling your services is quick and easy. It's one of the fastest things that you can do. And as long as you can prove your worth, it's not going to be a problem. People are going to pay. I mean, look at this, guys. Like in your mind, you're like, no one's going to pay this. This is Mike Body. He is one of the greatest tuners in our industry. He is well known. So for him to charge $1,600 for his time, is a drop in the bucket. People will pay this no problem. When you are that good, doesn't matter if you're national or local, your name and your work will sell. It will sell. And therefore you can charge whatever you want. People charge crazy, crazy prices for wedding photography. Okay. I'm like, what? I'm spending how much money for, for wedding photos and all that stuff? You know, get out of town. You know, that's, that's when I was married. I'm, you know, back, you know, back, back then, you know, back when I, you know, was, young and naive but um yeah guys like just think about this this is how i was able to make so much money and even at 350 dollars, you know i had to do way more than a lot of people but 350 bucks that's all profit and it really didn't take me that much time because the cars i was tuning i already figured out i already you know i had maps you know for basically every you know calibration there was a bolt on and then you just finesse it you know you're like all right this is where i start at if there's any kind of mechanical issues you figure it out you know help them but for the most part you know you don't have to go crazy and reinvent the wheel all right you know some cars make more power than others but for the most part 
you know you can kind of guess what that power is going to be according to what they have you know like yeah you're going to be tuning them and making sure everything's good and safe and that the tune is set for their car you're not going to be a cookie cutter off the shelf type of thing so it does take a little bit more time but guys a couple hours like a couple hours out of your time like where else are you going to make you know 550 bucks for a couple hours not too many places unless you're doing things that are very promiscuous and you're not supposed to be doing unless you're in new york where it's decriminalized now i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about so yeah guys that's how i did it that is exactly how i did it i had a very basic uh ad posted up on craigslist very basic tags but i knew what people wanted and boom there you go that is it that's the quick and easy way man you know <laughs> I'm not even joking with you. This is exactly how I did it. And it was one of the best things to ever, ever happen to me, you know, because it was just such quick money. It was quick and easy and boom, there you go. You made 10, you know, $10,000. Like literally where else are you gonna be able to do that? You know, without much, you know, with without much effort, not too many places. So, you know, there's that. But um, yeah, guys, so if you need anything else, make sure you hit uh, hit me up. Make sure you uh, check out the, the links below. Get into the free Facebook group, check out the ebook, all that good jazz and, Hey, you know, be safe, be smart. Catch you in the next one.